Hello, this is Ian and Ben with DC Digital, and today we're going to be showcasing our DC 60N PoE TDN Upstatic Indoor PoE Powered Web Page Controlled Network Clock. This order is going out to JR Automations, and it is utilized by the customer to make use of the network web page functions in order to enter in a string of commands in order to make the display become an up down timer or a time of day clock or a static numbers display. It can count up and downward from a grand total of 99 minutes and 59 seconds. And this is utilized in a multitude of ways, like it could be utilized in factory settings where people need to have certain products made under a certain time limit. It can utilize the countdown functions or the uptimer functions to let workers know how long that product is being worked on and it can also display the time of day and all of this is powered by the POE that you can see on the right side of the enclosure. So now I'm going to have Ben take over and have him explain the functions on how this unit is meant to work, how to utilize the web page functions and also how the unit is set up via the network. All right, thank you Ian. Uh, this product is a, a multi-purpose display uh, you can, as Ian illustrated, it can function in any one of these four modes, clock, up timer, down timer, or static number. And this web page <clears throat> is hosted by the device, so you pull up the device's IP address and it will bring up this home page, and it spells out the protocol for you. Uh, and then it gives several examples of that protocol down here to kind of illustrate the different ways in which you could use this product. I'm going to demonstrate each of those ways for you. You'll notice here that the time on the, dis on the computer is 10.37 a.m. So we'll start with a clock string to synchronize this to our current, um, our current computer time. And that would be a capital T followed by a capital C. We want it to uh, be in 12 hour a.m. mode so we'll put a 1 in there and we'll put in the hours as 1 0 minutes as 3 8 and because this is a four digit unit we don't have a way to synchronize the seconds so then we need to put in a broadcast channel and group um, and we'll just use asterisks for that as the reference that is not necessary if the unit is not addressed and there we've changed it to 238, 1038 on the display. Uh, in uptimer mode, typically we're going to start from zero, so we'll type in TU for uptimer. One means go, zero, 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 asterisk, asterisk, and send that. And you'll see there it starts from zero and measures time as it elapses in seconds all the way up to 99 minutes. Um, we'll put it in down timer mode starting from 10 minutes. T, D, 1 to go. 1, 0 for 10 minutes. 0, 0 for, 10 second, for 0 seconds. Asterisk, asterisk, and send. And here it's measuring time as it's counting down from 10 seconds to 0. We do have a couple of end of period options. Uh, by putting it with a 1 to start it, there is no end of period option, no end of period indication. If we put a five in there, when it gets to zero, it will blink the it will blink the display. The display will flash at a rate of 500 hertz. If the in optional installed hardware, the end of period horn or the uh, and on light, is included in the product, you can set it so that those flash and or sound at the end of period as well. Uh, using uh, uh, command 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, 10 seconds so we can see it flashing. That's TD5, 0, 0 minutes, 1, 0 seconds, asterisk, asterisk, and send that. And here we go. When it gets to 0, it will flash at a rate of half, uh, half a second. A rate of 1 hertz, my bad. One hertz. So, in the static number display, is simply displaying a number. So we can type in T S for static zero and the number we want one two three four, and it will display that number. We can type in T S one one two three four for the 
showing the colon with our number it still doesn't increment or decrement from there it maintains the static number indefinitely or we can put in a command ts2 one two three four and we'll just have a decimal point and this is good for showing say a price of something or something of that nature so you can have all three of those options as the static display this particular unit is controlled via the network poe powered those are options uh, for this product we have a whole family of options based on this same concept this can be controlled either from this web page directly or from a third-party software application that would send TCP data to the display it can be controlled from a touch panel controller that's also able to send TCP or UDP data or RS-232 or RS-485 serial data. Not all of those options are available in this particular product, but it is available in this family of products. Uh, you can also use control it from a PLC, uh, a programmable logic controller, and that can go over Ethernet or RS-485. Or we also have a LoRa 900 megahertz long range radio option that would be a send and receive pair. As well, you can control it from an audio video controller such as a Crestron or an Xtron type of controller. Uh, power options for this device, they're not always PoE powered, this one is. You can also plug it into 120 to 240 volts AC or you can have a 24 volt option instead. So quickly going over the hardware aspect of this model, its enclosure is a tough aluminum black powder coated casing that is fingerprint and dust resistant. Its display size is 6 inches that can be viewed up to a total of 300 feet away. The number of digits that it has is 4 digits that can display the time of day in a 12 or 24 hour format. It can count up or down to and from 99 minutes and 59 seconds and it can display the static number of 9999 with cold or a decimal. The power type that this unit utilizes is an 802.3 BT power device requiring 60 watts of PoE power that is customer supplied. For mounting we have two slotted mounting tabs on the back of the enclosure up top. And lastly for accessories we have our web page browser that allows the user to type in the desired command string in order to make the unit become an up down timer, a time of day clock, or just simply display the static number and it does not require any third party software. You just simply need the MAC address and, and then access a web page based browser like Google Chrome or Bing or Yahoo. So again this is Ian and Ben with DC Digital demonstrating our DC 60N PoE TDN up static indoor powered web page controlled network display. Thanks for watching.